The Airbus A321XLR, a game-changing aircraft in the aviation industry, is making significant strides towards certification. In a landmark development, it has embarked on its first international test flights, marking a crucial milestone in its journey. This long-range narrow-body aircraft promises to redefine air travel with its extended range and efficiency, opening up new possibilities for airlines and passengers alike. The A321XLR program has just kicked off an international flight test campaign known as Functional and Reliability Testing FNR. Also referred to as Route Proving, this is part of Airbus' certification activity contributing to EASA type certification expected for the new variant in 2024. Overall, the main objective of the FNR is to demonstrate the A321XLR system's maturity well before entry to service, with a target of approximately 100 hours, flying time over 10 days with no systems power down. Specific sectors, comprising around 15 flights in total, are intentionally typical of what airlines might fly when the aircraft enters service. These have been defined to represent a mix of operator profiles, climatic conditions, flight durations and airport turnaround times. For the first time since the A321XLR first flew in June 2022, there will be real airline cabin and flight crews gaining hands-on experience alongside the Airbus test pilots and flight engineers as well as a representative group of around 30 passengers made up of volunteer Airbus and airline employees. Everyone on board, as well as myriad supporting teams on the ground in Toulouse and also at the destination airports will contribute to a common objective to provide valuable feedback as the A321XLR spreads its wings for the first time. Crossing oceans and visiting international airports, the aircraft which is flying these missions is MSN 11080, one of three dedicated flight test prototypes and the only one which is equipped with a full cabin interior. In the olden days, route proving was very much about showing customers the aircraft in action that the aircraft they have bought can actually do what they want to do with it, recalls Jim Fawcett, Airbus's lead flight test engineer for the A321XLR's FNR exercise. These days, we carry on with this kind of demonstration, but we're also looking at showing the technical reliability and maturity and good functioning of the aircraft. So that's why we prefer to call it functional and reliability testing. A very practical and positive measure of the success arising from the campaign would be if the crews and passengers on board, as well as the ground support teams, were to say that they see very little difference between operating an A321XLR and the regular A321neo. If our participants tell us that they see very little difference versus the A321s in current operation, then to be honest, Airbus as an organization will have done our job emphasizes Fawcett. This would indeed align with the fact that many of the A321XLR's changes are behind the scenes. For example, it's about making sure that the aircraft is capable of safely taking off at a higher weight than before, says Fawcett. This is possible thanks to some structural and aerodynamic control surface optimizations, which in turn have required corresponding adaptations and retuning required for the flight control laws. The aircraft also features an upgraded landing gear system matched to the aircraft's extra weight and rolling speeds and without the ride being uncomfortable. Regarding the interior environment, whilst it may be based on the same airspace cabin as for A321neos being delivered today, there are new behind-the-scenes changes such as the thermal and acoustic insulation as well as the ventilation and heating systems. These features have been enhanced especially for the XLR since this variant will naturally spend longer at higher altitudes for extended periods compared with the regular A321neo. In a nutshell, during and following this exercise, what we really want our experts, our airline and airport partners and passengers to say is, this aircraft is good, it's exactly like what we know, and it's just giving us that extra boost of range that we need. That's the whole name of the game, the A321XLR is supposed to be integrated easily into their existing fleets, he concludes. If you found today's video informative, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications for future updates. We would love to hear your thoughts about Airbus takes it long, thin plane on a 10-day test campaign. Let us know your opinions and any questions you may have in the comment section below. Your engagement is valuable to us.